What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here, back after a very long hiatus. We are going to take a look at a bunch of packages I got from eBay. Been doing a lot of spending since we've been pretty much stuck in the house, quarantined, or all this, you know, locked down, all the thrift stores are closed, so I've been spending a lot more on eBay. Let's take a look at what I got. Now, I'll admit, most of the stuff, impulse buys, a lot of it, I didn't look at the pictures as well as I should have because the condition on this is pretty horrible. Uh, this is the Ms. Pac-Man uh, Special Color Edition box for Game Boy Color. Uh, one of the first Game Boy Color games I remember getting. Uh, the condition on this is pretty wretched. Like I said, even a box protector, it's going to look pretty bad, but... I probably spent, I can look it up after and put it in the, up here how much I spent. It was probably, my guess, I'm, I'm going to guess. Let's see how good or bad my memory is. I'm going to guess like 10 to $12 shipped on that one. Next up, we have another Game Boy game. This one's Game Boy Advance. Possibly even worse condition because this box is like shredded on the back. But we have Fire Pro Wrestling. For the Game Boy Advance, and I definitely did not look at the pictures on this because wow, that's pretty bad. I believe I spent fifteen dollars on this complete. I don't know how the Game Boy Advance game plays, but I've heard really good things about Fire Pro Wrestling in general, so I wanted to pick it up. Next up, oh wonderful! Always gotta love the packing peanuts, but. This was a super impulse buy. At this point in the lockdown, I have over 40 saved searches on eBay that I check multiple times a day. And one of them is for the N64 uh, Ogre Battle game. And I came across it in the Japanese version. I think I paid 16 or less shipped from japan or maybe from california uh box is not in the best condition let me put this down so i don't get packing peanuts all over the place uh the bottom tab is kind of pulled out which could probably just be tucked in easily yeah and it is supposedly complete let's take a look at what the japanese game looks like i think the art on it is pretty cool is why I picked this up in the first place. On eBay, I see a lot of um, inauthentic N64 games. Uh, and one thing you have to kind of look out for is whether or not it says E for Everyone or T for Teen. I believe the E for Everyone um, one is the... Uh, on eBay, they call them like the US version, which is really confusing if you don't know what you're looking at because you end up buying the game for like $20 and it's an authentic copy. But I picked this up just because it looked really cool, uh, the artwork at least on it. And it's a game I want to pick up because it's one of the few RPG games for the N64. And I don't know. Impulse buy, like I said before. Uh, next up, we have... Oh, this is a system that I've actually been increasing my collection on pretty rapidly during this. Uh, the, for the TurboGrafx-16, we have Double Dungeons. I wish they had... I wish I had, like, the boxes for these, because you could look at, like, what the gameplay actually looks like without having to take out the manual. Um, I don't even know if it shows any gameplay in the manual. It does not. All right, it's kind of like a first-person RPG dungeon crawler, which is what I thought it was. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on this. I think I've most recently heard about this on uh, Happy Console Gamer. It's one of like the games he got back when Final Fantasy, uh, when he got Final Fantasy for the NES, and he said this was one of the stinkers, and it holds up his shelf now. So. I, 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 like, watched that video literally right after I ordered that. I believe 
for that one, I paid $29 shipped. But like I said, future self, somewhere up in one of these corners, put the actual price of what I paid. All right. And the last one, this is kind of the holy grail of this video. And it's because it completes a set of four games that I've been looking for for a while. And this one was pretty pricey. This is Dragon Warrior 3 for the NES. Um, pretty sure that's some sun fading on the cover. Uh, overall, the box is not in bad shape. It has a sticker from, I believe, a rental store on the back there. Uh, Nintendo game cartridge 3166 Dragon Warrior 3. The legacy of Edric continues. Now, this does not have the foam, and it does not have the manual, and I believe it probably would have also come with a map. Oh, and an 84-page Warrior's Handbook. So it's definitely missing a lot, but it's in box, and the label on it is actually really nice. So that's kind of completing a quadrilogy. What is it? What would it be called? Like all four games on the NES I now have at least boxed, whether or not they're complete. Um, let me know in the future what you'd like to see on this channel. I'm open to doing a wide variety of videos. I've actually been playing a lot more of my games lately, so I can maybe do some, I don't know, introspective review type videos on some games I've played recently. Uh, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real, internet. I love you guys. Also, future self i believe i paid after taxes it was like 107 we'll see if i was right